Welcome to the final round of the Blue Canyon Ladies Championship here in Phuket. It is a Sunday showdown, the first time that the Korean Women's Tour, the KLPJ, has come to Thailand for a 54-hole championship at the renowned Canyon Course. First built back in 1991, that's the trophy. The best from the KLPGA and 11 invited Thai professionals are playing for this Sunday afternoon. It's also a prize fund of 650,000 US dollars, so there's a great deal on the line. And we've had two fantastic days of world-class golf. We've got 16 players within four shots of the lead, and that lead is held by the 20-year-old from South Korea, Bang Shin Sil, eight under par through 36 holes. What will unfold this afternoon? The players are beginning the measure of the golf course. Kate Burton in the commentary box alongside me. Renowned touring professional. We have Pat Sansarati and Pat, it's been a wonderful couple of days. Yes, of course. We've been working together for two rounds and what an incredible, I mean, for these players to show out, you know, their results here after the two rounds. Well, you might be wondering, why is the Korean tour here in Thailand? Well, it's, um, it's a bit cold right now. It is. Uh, d certainly December, January and February, there's not an awful lot of golf mm -hmm. uh, being played. March is starting to get slightly better, but it is indeed the first time that they have come here. And it's also the 66th anniversary of diplomatic ties between Thailand and Korea, and an opportunity to showcase and invigorate golf tourism here in Phuket. Uh, so we are talking about Blue Canyon, but other great golf courses yep. in Phuket, Pat. It's certainly a golfing destination to come to. A dream destination for all the tourism around the world. I mean, Phuket, Thailand? Who's not gonna know that? Just an hour of a flight from Bangkok, the capital city of Thailand. Big island with a population of two million people. Lots of beaches. I'm sure you get one. <laughs> So plenty to do here and plenty to focus on for these up and coming stars. Well, we have got major champions, we have got seasoned professionals and we've also got up and coming stars looking for their very first win on tour. So who will be victorious? It is a testing layout and certainly on the back nine, two par fives. One is reachable for the longer hitters, but two very difficult and testing par threes. And if that breeze continues to pick up, then we're going to find that uh, it's going to be even more of a head scratcher for the professionals as they make way around this golf course for the final time this week. There is the venue on the left hand side is the 18th hole. On the right is the challenging par five, the ninth that makes its way back up to the clubhouse. Pat conditions are always warm. We know that. It's been uh, a humid, hot last couple of days. Yep. And if we bring you up to speed with what has happened on Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. the 20 year old Bang Shin Sil, eight under par, around yesterday of 68. Uh, what an impressive player she is. Very, very. I mean, the longest drive on tour, Bang Shin Sil. And here she goes 68, 68. See how she's going to do today. Well, it certainly will be interesting to see if she wins again for the third time in her young career. But as we go a little bit further down, you'll see some outstanding play on Saturday. Duke Ko, uh, a 66 from Ko to vault into contention and move into a tie for fourth place. And then the round so far, the week, belongs to Park Win Ji, a mm -hmm. seven under par round. That was a 65 from Park. And what a player she is, 26 years old. 18 victories in her stellar career. Three of those are majors, and two wins came last season. How about that? Mm. Well, this is the club, and it's undergone extensive renovations over the last year or so, mm -hmm. and it's in tip-top shape. Well, here are our feature groups to pay a close eye on, and uh, we're going to start, certainly, with the stellar career of Minji Park. Mm -hmm. And then Kim Minju and the year one. Lee, what a player. That is the standout player in that group. If you look at the current form, winning last year, the triple crown. Uh, by that, we mean the money list, the points list, and the low scoring average. She also picked up three wins, one of those being a major. So Lee, certainly the informed player, and has her chances this afternoon, but so do these three players as well, Pat. Coach Yu, Huang Yumin, and Kim Hee-ji. Of course, Kim Hee-ji, I mean, wow. Turned pro since 20, 20, um, 2000, and it's four, been four years in her golfing career, and she's stunning. A 66 from Ko yesterday, a winner also on tour. So finding the conditions and improving each day, it was an even par opening round. 
of 72 for Co. But getting the measure of this canyon course. And this, our final group, they all look happy right now. <laughs> They're certainly going to be feeling the nerves, though. <laughs> Big opportunity to win outside of Korea. And certainly you would think the favourite, uh, Bang, will she continue to power her way around this golf course and outpower her nearest challengers? It's going to be fascinating. Choi Ming Kyung and Hong Jun Min also in that final group. It's going to be a tough, fun round today, Kate. Beautiful golf course. If you're thinking of a golfing holiday to the Far East, maybe you've been here before, maybe you live here in Asia, then uh, certainly worth the flight and mm. the opportunity. Absolutely stunning. And not just one course, but two championship courses. There is the Lakes course as well. So golfing heaven and plenty to enjoy also on the island of Phuket itself. Not far from the airport and not far from the beach. Mm. And this is earlier, one of our feature group. And this is at the ninth hole, the par five. And the whole location today is on the right-hand side. Uh, you can see that breeze, and that turns throughout the day. And uh, it's playing off the player's left right now, and it will completely switch direction. But a birdie opportunity to come now for Lee at nine to move to seven under. That's a long part, an uphill slope, of course, into a different tier. That was a good speed, good result. Well, a good attempt from Lee, and that will be for a par. And uh, after dropping a shot at the second hole, bounced back with birdies on three and four, so he's gone out in one under par. And very much part of the story, eight under, nine under, leading the way. That is indeed her playing partner, Shin Sil Bang. Come back to that group in a moment. Beautiful golf course. A little bit of breeze here. Well, and it's played host to some excellent events in the past. Tiger Woods has played here. He has a couple of plaques where he uh, drove the green on 14. But why don't we take you through now the player profile of Lee Ye Won and uh, what a year she had last year. Wow, it's, it's, it's been great. Only 21 years of age, I mean. What do I do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do we do at the age of 21? Look at that. One in the 23rd Heights June Rose Championship. She won a lot for events. Yeah, in addition to the three wins that uh, Won had, uh, Ye Won had last year, she also was runner-up four times. So an outstanding season a year ago. Playing alongside her, Minju Kim. This also for birdie. Oh, it's a great chance. Wow. Gave speed. it a wrap up the hill as well. I think the green got a little bit firm. More speed over the night. With a little breeze here, with the sun. <laughs> An outstanding player, a superb competitor. Park this now for a birdie. And it's a, a different putt that she has. It's going to be, talk us through the kind of putt that she's got right now, Park Minji. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back to that birdie opportunity in just a moment. And Let's take a look at Park Minji here. 26 years of age, four wins back in 2022 and 2023. And of course, I mean, in her golfing, golfing career, she won 18 wins. Incredible. Six wins in 2022, six wins in 2021. So a player who is no stranger and not afraid to take on the risk of the golf course and her competitors down the stretch. Takes nerve to win, and this would be a very good putt now for Minji. 
down the slope on the ninth hole. And she oh, loves it. Brilliant. And so three birdies on the front nine for Park out in 33. And she moves to just one off the lead. That's a good momentum entering into the back nine. Wrapping up, tidying up for a par. Minju Kim. A five it will be, remaining at six under. The golf course has played host to the Johnny Walker Classic on three occasions, also the Honda Invitational. It actually used to be an abandoned tin mine, flagged by rubber plantations, transformed into two championship golf courses. Water certainly comes into play, Pat, mm -hmm. and uh, towering trees, beautiful fauna. This is earlier. And Hong. Now, Jun Hong, this will be quick. Trying to kill it on the fringe. Knew how fast it would be, but a little bit too much for Hong. Birded five and six. Eight under par, only one shot off that lead. It is a very congested leaderboard that we have here. Here's another player putting on the lower tier, Choi. Got to give it enough. Keep going. Oh. Min Kyung's looking for her first win on tour. Could it be her afternoon this afternoon? Hasn't been the best start. It's been a, a, a stretch of pars that uh, Choi has stitched together in this final round. There was a drop shot at the second hole. So looking for some red numbers, certainly on the back, if she's going to make a dent on the lead. Mm -hmm. And here's Bang. Another long putt here. That is a putt for an eagle. <coughs> Two putts, it's a good result here. That's came a little shy. Such a weapon that Shin Sil has, the longest player on the Korean tour last year. 262 yards on average off the tee. And uh, if you're able to, well, if you're able to keep it straight as well, because her driving accuracy isn't so good, 112th, she ranked 61% of fairways found. And that's always the case. The longer you hit it, there's going to be a lot more <laughs> yeah. of a dispersion, mm -hmm. but still. When she is on and she is down the middle, that is a formidable weapon that Bang has. But she's still in the top 10 money ranking in 2023, so that wasn't bad. Gonna try to clear this one up for Hong. Good touch. Important part to hold to stay one back. Well, a few fans have come out this <laughs> afternoon. And Sunday. Well, it's interesting, isn't it, Pat, that we heard yesterday uh, by the by Daniel, the KL PGA media officer, that several of the players from Korea Got do attract fans. their fan clubs, and their fan clubs <laughs> will fly from Korea and follow them all around the world. One of those fan clubs is the Cutiful fan yeah. club that has 3,000 members. And uh, that is the player who is Hyung Kyung Park, Park Hyung Kyung. And what, a, I mean, amazing to think that she has that much of a following. I know. Koju. <laughs> Wrapping things up, that was in fact Koju.
are now Choi. This remain at six under with nine holes to play. And to keep her chances very much alive. Well, no problem. So final round action of this 54 hole championship from Blue Canyon Country Club. Back nine beckons and we're going to move to the first par four of the back nine. It's the 10th hole, 357 yards. side of the fairway to avoid the bunkers and the trees that could have blocked the approach. Longer hitters have a big advantage. They can take it straight down the middle, probably go past the bunkers and have a short wedge in. This is a very receptive green sloping from back to front. I think you will see a lot of birdies on this hole. And Shane Gillespie talking us through these hole flyovers on the back nine. Will there be a lot of birdies? It'll be interesting to find out. Pin is tucked all the way back left today. And here we go. Lee for birdie at the 10th hole. This climb to seven under, move within two. Looking great. Looking very good Ooh. indeed, and in it goes. <laughs> well, Lee continuing that excellent form. Now, two back of the lead. Stepping on the paddle. There's been an awful lot of work done at the, um, carried out at the golf course over the last couple of, uh, over the last year or so, for mm -hmm. sure, hasn't there? Pat, they've tried to elevate the status of the course and the condition. Yep, I mean, they closed for um, 10 months for the renovation on the canyon course. And all the slopes have been changing, and it just reopened in February. Mm. Now, Junmin, at the back of the green on 10, a little bit of work to do. Went out in two under par, eight under. They've had nine under to this point. That's got to settle, settle, settle. Well, still got some distance there. Got a little bit of a fans here today. Yeah, I mean, come on out. We need a sun umbrella. It is hot out there. <laughs> As you watch Choi, you know, good wedge in for Choi. Could do with this rolling in, trying to close in on the lead. Just not enough welly mm -hmm. right there, Choi. Be interesting seeing Bang and Choi teeing it up together because Bang is the longest player on tour, whereas Choi has a driving distance of 230 yards, and that's uh, outside the top 100. So two players with markedly different styles of play. And here is the leader, Bang. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies. It was a lovely birdie on nine, the par five, and another opportunity presents itself right here. Oh, 
Wow, that straight right in the middle of the cup. But that's a shame. A little too shy. Her lead remains intact, albeit it's one slender shot over her challengers, Lee Park, Hong, Choi and Pak. Well, this will be an up and down now for Hong, 22 years old, a winner last year, a couple of years ago at the Doosan Match Play Championship, twice a runner-up last season. So this to remain in a share of the lead alongside Shinsil. Of that age. Not a good start on the 10th. Drop a shot. And falls out of that share of the lead and joins a couple of other players, Lee and Park, on eight under par. Well, it's still very close. We've still got 10 players within four shots of the lead. It really is anyone's game. So from the par four to the par five, the tenth, 570 yards. Hole number 11 is a long par five. Off the tee, you have to be aware of the tree on the left hand side, which will affect your layup on the second shot. Players will want to favor the right side of the fairway. However, in the mornings, we've seen a strong wind off the right hand side, so this can be, prove troublesome. On the second shot on this long par five, you will need to avoid the bunkers that protect the left hand side of the fairway. Once you can lay up, you are going to be looking at an approach shot into a very long and narrow green. The green has bunkers both left and right, and also has water left and right. I expect most players to play for par. It's a back pin today as well on this championship Sunday. 36 paces on. So Lee, got to get the distance right, got to trust the yardage. One of the contenders, only a shot back. Big opportunity here on this par five. That oh, that fantastic Come on. aim. No <laughs> way. That very nearly went in for an eagle. Well, I'm not sure if she saw that. Oh, my goodness. How about this? Certainly worth another look. Well, shot off today, obviously. That was unlucky. Have a look at this ball land. Whole location all the way at the back. Got the distance to perfection. Coming in with just a fraction too much heat. <laughs> How that didn't hide in the hole, we don't know. But it's a tap-in birdie, and that will certainly help Yewon's campaign. You can't hit straighter than that. <laughs> <laughs> and so that is a birdie-birdie start for Lee. Eight under par. Just the start she's after on this back nine. Right in the hunt. Wearing the glasses today, Kim Minju. Work left in that. You can see that shrug of the shoulders, shoulders, oh. frustration there, certainly on a par five, able to take advantage of it, and there's work to do there for Kim. And now Minji. It's a chance here at the 11th. 
It's a good looking part, but just run it through the break for the 26 year old. An important part to hold. This is for Minju. This is for a par at the 11th. Yeah, you don't want to lose a point on par five. Oh. Not enough distance speed here. Well, dropped a shot on the 11th. And a frustrating six. And there you see falling to five, four back of the lead. Nine under leads the way. Shin Sil Bang. And this to remain two adrift. No problem here. Yeah. Confidently hold there, and no problem for Minji. And they'll make their way to the challenging part for the 12th hole. All about the drive, getting it off to a decent position off the tee. Beautiful day here in Phuket. Very glad you could join us. Final round action, uh, the Blue Canyon Ladies Championship, the inaugural Blue Canyon Ladies Championship. Play at the Canyon Course, which is known as the Ultimate Championship Course, built in 1991. Now, Pat, you're a local. You're from Thailand. What, uh, what <laughs> fruit is that we've got there? I'm not so sure, but we've <laughs> seen it a lot in Thailand. Oh. <laughs> well, I know, having spoken to several other Korean players who've come down here, how much they love the food. Oh, the pancakes as well, the rotis <laughs> that you have, oh, they are You love delicious. the sweet, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, the sticky mango, right? Oh, that's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. All right, I'm starving now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this gives you a good idea of just how long this green is on the par 5 11th, and uh, there's work to do for Bang. It has the lead, nine under par. Miss now. Her fourth shot. And that's a good chip from the 20 year old. Also in the group, there is Hong. This is the fourth shot for Jun Min. Well, that's a big miss on her third shot into the right bunker. Well, that's a lovely blast out of the sand. Good touch there from Hong. We'll have that par putt to come. Well, it's all very tight here at the top. Nobody is running away from it. That's for sure. Choi, here is Min Kyung. This for birdie to try and tap away at the lead, but it's a long shot. It's a long way back on this par five. And that pin tucked 35 paces on. This will be a good two putt now for Choi. Good speed. For a sandy par. Well saved. A five, it will be on the scorecard, and we'll sit one shot back. Try to clean this one up to secure the spot, and no problem for Bang. Just one birdie for the day. Well, we know she's capable of plenty more. Had a chance to get home in two on the par 5 15th, so you wonder how much that will play and be part of the story come day's end. It's a fantastic surname, isn't it? Bang. <laughs> in golf. It's because great. she certainly gives it a bang, <laughs> bang. off the tee. <laughs> Longest player on tour.
to tidy up. Bing Kyung. And no problems. Best finish last season for Ming Kyung was fifth. That was the Dayawina MBM Ladies Open. So the way she's playing right now could better that. Certainly is keeping her hopes alive. We march off to the 12th, the par four. number 12 requires a demanding tee shot uphill into this wide landing area but missing left or missing right of this fairway is going to cause a lot of problems for players longer hitters are going to have a much easier time from the fairway attacking this green this green has multiple tiers and being on the right tier is going to give you the best chance for birdie I do expect a lot of pars Well, pars there have been, but birdies would be great, especially those who are chasing the leader. So Bang has the lead, but this, a legitimate contender right here. What a player she is, Yewon Lee. Going to be careful with the speed here. Speed is good. Mm, they really are picking up pace. Uh, sun drenched the courses today. There was a bit of rain a couple of nights ago. I don't know if there was any rain last night. I was out, out for the count. So. I don't think so. No, I, don't, I heard of. A par will be for Lee. Started the back nine well with three and four birdies on 10 and 11. So he's three under for the round today and sits one shot off the lead. Certainly in a position to pounce and certainly knows how to do it as well, Lee, major champion last year. And now Minji. It's also at the 12th, playing alongside Lee. Excellent approach as well. This for a rare three at the 12th to climb within one. Looking good. Oh, fantastic. Well, after a drop shot on 10, a par at 11, and then bouncing back with a superb birdie at the 12th. Well, oh, looking very good today, isn't she, Pat? Sending a message to Bang already. Ah. Now Minju. There was a little bit of movement on this putt from Ye Won, a little bit from left to right. Mm -hmm. Well, Minju get the measure of it. She would have had a good look at that putt, gone to school on it. Just drop a shot in the previous hole. That also moved right on her. 21-year-old still in search of that first career win on the KLPGA. It's been a 
frustrating day today for Minju Kim, mm -hmm. falling down the leaderboard, and you would think that her hopes have disappeared too over par today for her round, and sadly heading in the wrong direction. Do you ever get a bad day here in Phuket? Every time I'm here, clear blue skies, <laughs> wonderful conditions, <laughs> ideal to play golf. I recommend to play golf and visiting a beach. Choose one. You got 13 beaches to choose in Phuket, <laughs> so that's a lot. Yeah, for, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> it really has been uh, a wonderful week for all of these players, staying at the Meridian as well in Phuket. So right down on the beach. But uh, Joy won't be thinking about that right now because Min Kyung has a hanging lie on the 12th to a front hole location and is operating out of the right hand rough. So won't be able to get much spin on this. Mm -hmm. And ball sitting in below her feet here. So it's gonna be natural moving from left to right. going to be very precise for the carry distance. 109 to the pen. Oh, it was very nearly excellent. I'll take that, mm. <laughs> definitely. Couple of big drives, and it's no surprise to see that uh, Bang <laughs> is straight down the middle. Longest player in this group, longest player out here this week. 260 in her averaging yeah. last season. But the rest of the game is also tidy for the 20 year old. Can navigate her way around a golf course beautifully. Good rhythm on that shot and that swing. A 92 yards, hoping for a little bit of zip. Can she get the spin to release back down? It's not going to happen, but still a good chance of a three. Still in the same tier. Also a big drive from Jun Ming. Here she is. Only one back. Only 22 years of age. That will jump up. Oh, oh. But it's got caught on that upslope. Well, it's going to be an uphill putt, and it's going to move from there right to left. So it's coming down to a putt off on 12. You feel it's going to be a very close stretch. Hello to you as well, Junmin. <laughs> Great playing so far. You've certainly been treated to a wealth of golf over these few days. It's not a 72-hole championship. 54 holes are played this week, and there's no cut, so all players are safely through. And we had 11 players from Thailand, Pat. Don't know. Some of your friends were teeing <laughs> it up earlier this week. <laughs> they enjoyed, definitely. Let's take a look at the layout on number 13 here. In 1998, Tiger Woods drove the green from this tee box. However, in the years that have passed, the trees have grown significantly. I expect to see the ladies aim left of the trees, but over the canyon wall to a very wide fairway. The farther to the right they go, the closer they will go to the green, but it makes the carry a bit longer. So people will have to pick the right line to make sure that they get over the canyon wall. Second shot can be an aggressive shot into the green. Certainly can afford to be aggressive and fly it directly at the pin, but oh, look, it's a front pin today. Only six paces on. Such a difficult hole location there. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's not much. It's only a flick with a wedge, but you've got to know your number. And it's a feel shot, that second shot. So we're joining the action. Here we are with uh, Lee Ye Won. Down the slope as well on this one, Pat. 
I think maybe she was hoping for a bit of spin with that wedge and it would spin back down. Mm -hmm. I should say, sorry, uh, Minji, it's part Minji. They're dressed quite very similar today, aren't they? All in white, <laughs> apart from uh, Minji, who's got short sleeves on. What day is it today? Why white? <laughs> Looking right online. Good and part. Look at that. Look oh, at that. Oh, Minji, that is fantastic. What a three. Two birdie back to back. Gets to within two. And the long black ponytail belonging to Ye Wan, also with a chance. looking good it's oh goodness me that was close just swung across the hole that was a putt to join the lead at two under on the back nine started so well with those birdies at 10 and 11 for Ye Won. back to our final pairing here and how about that shot in from Shinsil all over the pin. I know, right? I mean, straight that um, at the flag. Mm. But this is key now. This part is to take the lead all by herself and extend it to 10 under par. And it's going to move left to right. The question is, how much? Well, more than she think, obviously. So many good Koreans in the w women's game right now. 27 in the world's top 100. And when you do ask why there are so many good Korean golfers, uh, there is a huge tail breeze behind women's golf. But the money comes from the parents. It's the parents that invest the money because it's not a cheap game in Korea. It's 300 US dollars for a round of golf. And there's 800 golf courses in Korea. Wow. To put that in perspective, there's 300 courses in Thailand. opportunity here, Choi, just off that fringe. Tidying up. Six under needs to start finding some birdies fast. Starting to get to the pointy end of this championship. It's Sunday afternoon. The title of champion beckons. Who will it be? Hong, you should have seen some information earlier from Choi. the same direction. Unable to find her first birdie in the back nine yet. And also drop a shot on hole number 10. Chinsil feeling the slope beneath her feet. An important part to hold to protect the lead to stay at nine under par. Oh, that's a good nerveless putt there from the 20-year-old. Nine under leads the way. And Shinsil will make her way now to the iconic par four, the 13th hole, with a one-shot lead over her nearest challengers. 
quite a slow game for her, Bang. Just one birdie on the ninth. But enough to keep her nose out in front. Not an easy golf course. Well, this is the 14th and the signature hole. Beautiful par three, the 14th, it's an elevated tee. But Pat, as we can see from this aerial shot, it is all about the green. Yep. And uh, where the hole is located today, it's 19 on, 14, uh, 11, 11 from the left. But so uh, that's going to be kind of center of the green. Yep. But what a stunning hole visually it is. <laughs> I would say difficult. <laughs> you can see plenty of water there rather than the green. <laughs> but yeah, yesterday there, there was a player who nearly made a hole in one on this hole. Yeah, there is a chance, and uh, a hole-in-one would earn you a five-year membership of Blue Canyon Country Club. And the lowest round of the week, uh, the course record, because this would be a course record, because the first time the Tour have come to compete in this championship, and that, that would be a one-year membership of the club. 149. Yes, that's what it's playing today. And it's going to be... Minji Park on the team. Little punch with an eight iron. Oh, would it stay? Not sure. Not the time to miss. That is frustrating for Park. There's breeze cutting across this hole as well. So from the player's left, and that's also to contend with, it's a narrow target. And with that elevated tee, you are exposed to the breeze. Only a nine iron required for Lee. Anywhere on the green will be acceptable. That breeze is freshening. Oh, stay. Oh, no. We see some of the Korean player yesterday try to hit, you know, from where that ball is. See if Lee gonna try to hit that one. Oh, that is frustrating. Now with that southwesterly breeze, but what that means for you watching at home, the southwesterly means it's come, it's, cutting across the players, but also hurting them slightly as well. So it's out there, out there 10 o'clock. Knockdown shot. Right in the middle of the green. That's a good spot to be for Kim. <laughs> Looked like she breathed a sigh of relief then. Found terra firma. The 14th hole here at the Canyon Course is a fantastic par 3 that is going to play a critical role in who wins this golf tournament. Any player that finds the putting surface three days in a row will be very, very happy. Because of the elevated green and the very large lake surrounding the green, the green seems very small and because we're at an elevation, the wind is going to have a significant effect on the trajectory of the golf ball. This hole could produce a few birdies, but it also could produce a few double bogeys. This is going to be an exciting hole to watch this week.
couple of birdies in the sky, and they're proving elusive for that group at the moment. Uh, two balls we think are in the water. Certainly, Ye Wan's ball has gone left. How about Park? What has happened? Fell out of view of the cameras, but it'd uh, be unlikely if it's held up. And oh, there we see. Now there is Lee, has gone to the drop zone here on the 14th. Oh, so frustrating. Went into the penalty area yesterday on this hole, so it's proven to be a headache. Uh, the most dominant player last year on tour on the KLPGA, and there's work to do now. Third shot. Well, that part to come to drop the one shot. So Lee up against it. We're getting to the sharp end of this championship. All of the shots are becoming so crucial. And especially when they're trying to contain a player like Bang, who has got the distance and with that par 5, 15 to come, you feel there's a really big opportunity there for the leader to extend her superiority at the top. There is Minji. That ball leaked right. Well, we'll come back to that group in a moment. We're going to drop back a hop hole now and go to the short par four, 13. And is the tree going to be a factor right now? Are those overhanging branches going to be a problem? Only 59 yards, and it looks like she's trying to trap it. Hooded club face, punch it underneath. But not easy because look where the hole is located. <laughs> it's <know>, right? <laughs> protected, it's hidden behind that greenside bunker. So to the drop zone for Minji. Playing three now. This is the first person so far that we see hitting from the drop zone. And Ye Won just moments ago as well. Both these players looking to get up and down and drop one shot, but they have lengthy part or uh, bogey parts to come. Well, how easily this course can bear its teeth. Well, Shinsil is in a spot of bother as well, leaking it right off the tee with the drive, looking to toss this up in the air. But that has clattered amongst the trees, and you've got to wonder what the thinking was behind that shot. Hmm. Surely punching out, but no. Unless the bunkers were going to be a factor. Well, this gives hope to the chasing pack yep. because Bang is not on the green in two and one of the easiest par fours on the golf course. The leader by one in trouble. Fantastic drive from Hong, only 49 yards in. Big opportunity right now, one shot back. Come on. It just stayed. <laughs> Hoping it was going to release back down the slope. Still a good look at a three. That going to 14. Well, Minju was the only player to find the green in this group and is the only player with a chance of a two.
Walked off with the par is good for this hole. 14. Well, these two par threes, Pat, on the back nine, mm -hmm. here we have uh, 14 and then also 17. Now, 17 oh. is very difficult as well. The toughest hole. Oh, and today, Pat, with the whole location, it is 39 paces on. It's all the way at the very pack. It's a completely different hole. Yep. I mean, I really want to see the players um, play today on that hole. It was recorded yesterday that it was the hardest hole at Blue Canyon, 17. This hole isn't proving to be easy, that's for sure. <laughs> Not for Lee, because this is a bogey putt right now. Mm -hmm. Left off the tee, took a drop, pitched to here. And now hoping this will go in. Oh, last oh. drop. Oh, dribbled it in. But a very good four, considering the poor tee shot, so dropping the one shot, now falls back to seven under alongside Park. Caddy getting involved, pacing it out as well. It's also for a four. Oh, that is painful for Park. Had that share of the lead alongside Bang, and now is going to, if that goes in, it mm -hmm. will be a double bogey and a five mm -hmm. on the scorecard. And we'll fall back down to seven under par. What a costly hole this is proving to be for Park. Fought so hard with those three birdies on the front nine, and then two more birdies that came at 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. But it's starting to unravel on 14 for Minji. This now for a five on the par three. Well, the game got a little hiccup here for Park. See how she's gonna do in the last four hole. Well, it's gonna have to dig deep into her considerable experience Nobody has won more events out here than that player, Park, 18, 18. titles. He's gonna have to draw on that experience right now. Well, man. Well, we believe this is the third shot for Shinsil. Member leaked it right off the tee. Then the second shot clattered amongst the trees. to avoid that bunker. That's a long par save. And in danger of dropping a shot, which will bring the closing pack in and give them some hope as we come down this final stretch of holes here at the Canyon course. That is a long par part to come for Bang. Who will be victorious this afternoon in this inaugural championship? Choi has an opportunity. This chipping in would be very handy right now. This at 13. Oh. Great touch from Choi. Perfect. Still looking, though, for that first birdie on the scorecard. <laughs> She's the only player in contention that mm. is over par. One over after the bogey at the second hole. Been a whole string of pars since then. But 
Minkian only finds herself two shots off that lead. And an awful lot can happen. Mm -hmm. It's on the 15. Pin is all the way back on 15, 28 paces on. Yay one now. Oh, pin high. That's a good spot to be. She's in the same tier as the pin. Creating those birdie opportunities for Lee. Created four so far in the round. And birdie there at 15 would be very handy. This is a big putt now for Shinsil. No drop shots on the scorecard today. There was a lovely four at the ninth where she used her distance to great effect. It's been a string of pars, but now under pressure to walk away with a par on 13 and to uh, keep her lead intact. Wow, that was close. That was close. I'm going to be surprised if she can, if she can hold that putt. I mean, it's a very long putt save. Yeah, not easy for a par, for sure. Well, what we have now are three players locked on eight under par. Just remind me a bit back then at the Johnny Walker Classic at this hole number 13. It's a little bit of the drama with the Tiger Woods. He shot, he put himself, you know, first bang on the green and then make a three putt. Yeah, the course has changed over the last 20 years. Those trees have grown in height. Very hard to try and drive the green these days. Although Paul Wilson, the pro at Laguna, did that a couple of years ago. <laughs> and he actually made a hole in one. So congratulations to Paul Wilson. But this now, birdie chance down the slope for Hong. It just didn't break like she expected. So Hong, alongside her playing partner, Shinsil, eight under par. Back and the there's 15. a chance, isn't there, here mm -hmm. right now, Pat, mm -hmm. for Ye Won to join them. Lee Ye Won, this for a birdie at 15, to draw up alongside Hong and Bang on eight under par. This is the chance. And it looked just perfect. How about that? What a time to strike. Three players now on eight under par, and they lead the way in the final round of this Blue Canyon Ladies Championship. <laughs> Ye Won giving a caddy a high five, and why not? <laughs> Gotta say, right on cue. Wow, three birdies on the back nine, two on the front nine. Uh, Lee is making a charge. Look at that. Three players from the KLBJ. Lee Ye Won, Hong, and Bang. Setting the pace, eight under. Will that be Eclipse? Will that be good enough come day's end? Or will Park Min Ji have something to say about that? Also a good day for Pak Ju Young as well, five under, but she's in the clubhouse. No more can be done. So a round of 68 for Pak to finish five under for the tournament. It's not gonna be her championship, but might well be a top 10 finish. And that's been a good three days for Pak. Now, Min Sung, Min Sung Kim in the clubhouse with a 70. What a great player. What a brilliant <laughs> swing. My goodness me. Technically perfect. It all started so well as well for uh, Jin Seong as well. Mm -hmm. Han Jin Seong uh, fell away the last couple of rounds, put herself into a position after the opening round of 67. But frustrating today for Ko Ju, four over par, wow. tumbling down the leaderboard when she had worked so hard to fight her way into contention that her round sadly unraveling on this championship Sunday. Well, that is golf. There's up, there's down. And 
there you see it. That's the prize. Not for everyone, not for us. <laughs> uh, certainly not for you if you want to come along and play the golf course. It's purely for the competitors. <laughs> but a hole in one would result in a five year membership of this beautiful golf club. 149. Oh, Choi is chasing his two back, and that is an exceptional wow. tee shot. Wow. How about that on 14? Great look at a two. That took some nerve. Yep. Especially when you're standing on the tee off and you, you know, you see plenty of water rather than the green. Yeah, a freshening breeze as well. It's really hard for you to calculate the wind, though, on this hole. You can't really see the big trees beside the greens. It's just open area. Exposed with that elevated tee, hurting the players from the left. Oh, wow. my <laughs> goodness. Wow, Junmin, how about that? Two exceptional tee shots. See if these two players can put some pressure on Bang. Well, they certainly have done with those brilliant irons in right to the heart, nestled next to the pin. So Bang, fresh off the first drop shot of the day, had the lead all by herself and now has company on eight under par. Well, stay. Yeah. Okay, you're safe. <laughs> that will roll down it's gonna be different stories look at that start still the 18th hole on the 18th well the easiest hole on the golf course 11 birdies so far on 14 but there have been a couple of others there we saw moments ago Minji Park a double bogey from a share of the lead to chasing now for Park We have 10 players within three shots of the lead. You can't cut them out. Well, it's a beautiful clubhouse here at Blue Canyon, a great place to come for lunch, looking back down over the golf course. And those in the clubhouse will be able to see the action here on the 14th and will be able to catch a glimpse of Bang looking to get up and down. Maybe with that confidence, could roll it in. Not going to make it easy for herself, Shinsil. Big chance now for Hong. This for a two. And this for the outright lead. And it's going to be the first birdie in her back nine. Oh, just slip off that edge. I mean, that was a good chance for her. Birdies have dried up for Jun Ming. Found a couple midway through the front line. Lovely chance right now for Ming Kyung. This to move within one.
Well, oh. perfect there. An exceptional two. And what an opportune time for Choi Min Kyung. Her first birdie of the day. She's been patient, <laughs> and all good things come to those who wait. But Pay finds herself right in the mix. <laughs> Welcome to join the stage. A three it will be for Hong. There's work left to do once again for Bang. This is a lengthy par part to come for the 20-year-old. Remember, dropped a shot on the previous hole, clattered amongst the trees. You don't Hate want to drop go. another. Well, d most definitely, Pat. You don't want to go back-to-back -back bogeys when you had a, a share of the lead to yourself, mm -hmm. now has a share of it, and would uh, hate to be chasing. Not many holes left to, not a good momentum, if she dropped the shot. That just turned right out. Ouch. <sighs> That's painful. Keeping her emotions very close. Two drop shot, 13 and 14. Oh, she'll be boiling underneath. And two drop shots on two very straightforward holes. And so, Shin Sil Bang out of the lead. The 16th hole is going to provide the players with a little bit of relief. I expect players to grab their driver and try to hit it as far down this fairway as they can, giving themselves a birdie opportunity. There is a bunker along the left-hand side of the fairway, but the fairway is very generous, almost 40 yards wide to the right of those bunkers. I expect most players to hit it as far as they can, gives themselves a wedge into this green and attack the pin. They are going to be looking for birdies here. And here is the dogleg left 16th. Would look at where that hole is located today. That is certainly a Sunday pin. Just nestled behind that green side bunker. It is short and protects the green and has claimed a few prisoners this week. We've seen several players short. Got to have the right number. Don't be short. Well, after that double bogey on 14, Minji has rattled off a couple of pars. That was 15 and six. And here at 16, would love to do the same. If not, a three would be very handy indeed. Hands coming off. Looks like she's turned it a fraction left, but well, left of sensational. Perfect. Great perfect. shot. Let me look at that spin with the firmest green here. What a good contact. The whole location is only six pace off that front edge. You're gonna be very precise about the carry distance. Luckily, the breeze stopped. Ninety, uh, ninety-nine yards left for you only. Sensational. And Minju, longest drive here on this hole. Perfect. Wow. Coming just the right time. Well, the game is starting to get fire up towards the 18th. <laughs> the 
look at that plane. We're going to catch a plane tonight, <laughs> Kate. Well, the court is just located only less than 10 minutes from the International Phuket Airport. A lot of wildlife here for you to see, rather than nice beaches. So for those of you who's not ever been to Phuket, we will say welcome and visit once in a lifetime. It's one of the tourist dream destinations around the world. Oh, it really is. Absolutely beautiful. What a fabulous holiday destination. Great golfing one as well. Great chance here. This for Park to move to eight under par. Ooh, oh, tried. It was a confident, confident putt. Well, the great asset that this player Minji has is uh, a huge amount of experience and a huge number of trophies in her cabinet. And, uh, to win as many times as she had in 26 years of age, 18 wins and three of those are majors. So a player who's used to being comfortable when the situation isn't comfortable. And there's an awful lot of players who would like to win, but the players who actually do win are the ones that take the shot on, that go for the shot, because that's what you need to separate yourself from that chasing pack. Have you got the nerve to play the magical shot and for it to pay off? And certainly players like Park Minji, she does. They're certainly not giving up. A couple of holes remaining for Park. And that was a good run at a birdie. And this is another player who is younger, Lee Ye Won. This for birdie though as well. And a big opportunity now. That's a share of the lead. And this for sole possession on nine under par. Had a run at that part, Pat. And certainly giving this a huge amount of attention as well. There's the 21 year old. Certainly not going to be her day to day, not going to be her championship. Okay, come on Minju. Excellent wedge in. Let's pop this in for a birdie, get to four under. Grab that chance. Well, the whole goal was it up, and after a lengthy wait, that was indeed a birdie for Minju, four under par. Still working this par putt for Lee Ye Won. Four it is, remains at eight under par. And keeping her hopes very much alive. Two fantastic finishing holes to come. Next for Ye Won will be the very testing par three. With the pin tucked all the way in the back right hand corner. Here's on the 18th. Well, this could be interesting for Lee. Lee Jae Young, this to get to seven under par. Well, 
not quite. Playing alongside Zhou Hai Lim and Yoon Mina. But a, a solid three days of competition there for Lee. It's a hug with her playing partners and the caddy and everybody else involved. So six under, 354 holes it will be for Lee. A, a good performance the first time the Koreans come here to Phuket to compete professionally. This is the fantastic par 3 17th hole. A front left pin is a very accessible pin and I expect to see birdies. As the pin moves back down the green, the right bunker starts to come into play and the green narrows. As the pin moves further back and around to the right, both the front and back bunkers come into play. And if they tuck the pin severely to the right, water comes into play. This hole requires very precision iron shots this is going to be an exciting hole. Yes, and I'm totally agreed. It's going to be an exciting hole. Well, this is a shorter distance compared to yesterday round. Only 158 yards, still, but yes. the whole location <laughs> is tucked way back. What, oh. 39 pace off that front edge. Exactly. So it's going to still be long, part three, with that narrow shape of green. Yes. Yeah, one of the excellent closing holes here. A dramatic oh. hole. <laughs> and, you know, that bunker yeah. is going to be in line. Well, if you're going to take it on, you've got to take dead aim, and you're going to have to fly it directly over the bunker short of the green. So again, carry distance, going to be very precise. Wow. Oh, and that was stop. all over it. Oh, you found the back bunker. Dodge one bunker, but found another. Look at that whole location. Front bunker, back bunker, firm green, a little breezy. What more can it get? Well, that's where you need somebody who's got a huge amount of distance because what they'll be able to do is get height on the ball and get it to land softly. A person like Bang. Well, with the tee box being moved, we've been told that it's playing at 188 today. To the pin. Lee. That breeze is freshening. Yep, that spot is an ideal. But that is a very, very long putt. The direction of the breeze will be helping the players somewhat if off their left. There's not much movement, that flag fluttering a huge amount. But back down from the player's perspective, it is tough to take it on. Park is only one back. Six iron for Park. Not an ideal. And that front greenside bunker gobbles it up. Worked so hard in this round today. Those three birdies on the front nine for Minji. But paying the price off the tee on 14, that par three, a double bogey that came out of nowhere, had the lead all by herself at that point, but now chasing one shot back and work to do on 17. Seventeen hole location, going to do some damages to the player today, definitely will. It is very close. Whose championship will it be? Yei Won? on eight under alongside Jun Ming, also on eight under par. And then after the bogey bogey of Bang, we have Bang chasing one shot back.
We are on the par 5 15th hole. We are in the layup area for your third shot. Off the tee, most players will avoid the bunker on the left and find the fairway. They will then have a decision to make. Do they want to challenge the hole by carrying these bunkers on the right-hand side to give themselves a chance for a birdie and a short approach shot? Or do they want to play a bit safer, stay to the left and a little short of those bunkers and leave a longer shot into the green, which will probably result in a par? This hole could be pivotal, certainly for a player like Bang Shin Sil. Mm -hmm. Two bogeys coming into this hole, but the only player in the field that has a chance to get home in two. Certainly he's going to be pumped up. We'll see there are a couple of leaderboards on the back nine. And uh, if she's not aware of it, her caddy I'm sure will be. Uh, only one shot back. Needs some magic down the stretch. Maybe Hong. a free leave here. GUR. Oh, that's a little bit of crown. <laughs> here on Sunday at Phuket. Hong able to take a drop from the ground under repair. And the driver in hand. Fairway driver. Second shot for the co-leader, Jungmin. Here she is at 15. Ooh. Not finding a fairway. Yeah, there's plenty of bunkers up 15, that's for sure. Oh, one of the rough. Another GUR. So Pat, I don't know if you're able to listen in there with the local Thai rules official. It does look like there is ground under repair mm -hmm. and she has been granted free relief. We'll see what shot this this is. Can her distance get Shinsil home? Can she use it as a weapon at a crucial time of this championship? Trailing by one. Needs everything out of this shot. She got a birdie off this hole yesterday. That tree's on the way. Down there on the right-hand side. Not home in two. It'll be a pitch and a putt required for a birdie for Shin Sil Bang. Here's the third shot. 97 yards for Choi. Gonna try to be in the same tiers as the pin, the upper one. Need to keep coming. Oh, it's chasing. Will it's it? chasing beautifully for Choi. Uh, Good release on that. Well, quickly marked. Let's return to the action at 17. The very challenging par three, certainly where the hole is located today. Here is Park Minji. Oh, no. 
Oh, Minji. Not the time. Oh, how frustrating. Double bogey on the previous par three. And may drop a shot in another par three. Oh, dear. Well, another bunker here in the back. It's now from a different position after overshooting the green. Now Kim. keep on releasing oh it does beautifully very That's nearly perfect. over a two but that will be an excellent three a sandy par for kim well you don't have to be on the green mm. to finish off this hole with a par Third shot now. And that is not dead. That is for a bogey at Minji Park and is in danger mm -hmm. of two double bogeys on the two par threes on this back nine. Which is not an ideal. Well, that's hope stash. That's uh, your chance is over. Especially when she fought so hard over the last couple of days. That's got to hurt. Got to hope that that does fall for Park. It was a brilliant round yesterday. That's 65 to vault into contention, especially when you consider she opened with a 74. So played her way back. And a 65 in the second round for the moving day. <laughs> well, I would say all of the day seems like a moving day when there's no cut. <laughs> well, how about this lengthy part now? Well, for Ye Won Lee, it's on the green, it's on the dance floor, but the music's a long way away. It is for a two, what a two <laughs> it would be, but I think uh, that Lee would be very happy now with a three. Yep. Remember, co-leader. Two putts will be a good result here. Settle, settle. Of the speed here. Well, with it being so close right now, two players on eight under par, a couple on seven under, and then two further back on six under, in the event of a playoff, it will be the 18th hole. And if there is no winner after two playoff attempts, twice playing the 18th hole, they actually will cut a different location on the hole. So the hole will be moved. That's the way they like to do things on the KLPGA. So the 18th hole will determine the champion, but it could be a different hole location. Mm -hmm. But that's a long way off just yet. And unfortunately, this is a bogey putt to come for Minji Park to fall back to six under. double bogey on the two par three in her back nine that has to hurt five under is not going to be good enough to win this championship work so hard that's painful to be in contention but for this player the youngster three-time winner last year including that major the klpga championship Ye Won Lee has this to remain at eight under par and keep that share of the lead alongside Hong.
Good save here. What a brave putt. What an excellent two putt from long range for Lee. Oh, she could take a measure of pride and also most probably breathe a sigh of relief. Yep. Oh, she would have Definitely. been shaking over that. That's a very, very good three for Lee. One hole remaining, eight under par. I hope you're enjoying the action of this final round of the Blue Canyon Ladies Championship. Good moves today. A 68 from Lee Jae Yong. That's to finish on six under par. Well, barring a disaster, that's not going to be good enough because uh, Ye Won standing on the 18th tee, two shot advantage, and has been playing brilliant golf today, three under in her campaign. Sean Min Kyung, it's one shot back. Well, anything can happen in golf, especially oh. when you have only two holes, three holes left. Oh, okay. I mean, all the pressure, all the dramas. Obviously, we don't want any dramas. <laughs> but it really can. And the scores are changing before our very eyes. Mm -hmm. Third shot now for Shinsil. A lot of green to work with. It's going to try and chase up. Well, it's a beautiful view back down the 15th hole towards the clubhouse. <laughs> but Junmin now. Not an easy shot to come for Hong. A lot of green to work with. It's going to move from her left to right under pressure. You need to keep coming for sure. And it did not still on different tiers. Wow. Well, work to do for Hong. An important part because it's for a bogey for Junming on the par five and that is not oh. going to go in running that through the break it was an aggressive play from the Korean and at a pivotal moment on eight under par well it's going to drop shots here on 15 mm -hmm. definitely one at least Bang. And we've just heard from score recording news from the course is that for Bang, this is indeed a bogey putt. And so Bang also wow. struggling on a par five, of course, and a particular hole that she could really inflict some damage on with her distance. And I pay the price of the tee with a pool drive. I mean, she got the trouble since hole number 13. Drop is shot on number 13 and 14. Mm. Another on the 15. One at least. He's going to drop at least one shot. Bang. Well, the tournament is falling in the direction of the three-time winner last year, the money list winner as well, Lee Ye Won. He's on the 18th, unaware of what's happening behind her. Better turn of events for Choi, as this is for a birdie. And a huge opportunity right here for Min Kyung to move to eight under par. Everybody from there has left it right. They all thought it was going to break a fraction more. That putt has been relatively straight. Seven under par there for Choi. One shot behind.
it's all becoming rather crucial. And sadly for Hong. I mean, it's not the right time to make a mistake, especially on the last round on the 15. And to fall out of a share of the lead. Junmin now this for a double bogey and to slip back to six under par. That only just snuck in, so a frustrating, irritating seven at a pivotal moment of this championship. No smiles there in the land of smiles for Hong. Seven it will be on the scorecard, and if this goes in, a seven it will be as well for Bang. Does pull herself right back at five under par. And four over for the back nine. And out of nowhere, <sighs> from nine under par to enjoying the view all by herself at the very top, at the summit of this championship on nine under, is now has tumbled all the way back down to five under, three shots off the lead. I mean, sometimes golf can be crucial. Uh, it certainly can. It's a frustrating game. Sometimes we wonder, why do we keep on playing? <laughs> But there is magic out there, that's for sure. And the magic is certainly there for Lee Ye Won. Well, some what a day. It's, it's test your temper, isn't it? <laughs> this is the 18th hole. This hole is famous for the Tiger Rock. 20 years ago, Tiger drove a ball about 322 yards over the water, and there's a marker and rock to mark the location of his drive. With the advancement of technology and the forward tee boxes from the ladies' tee, I think we'll see a lot of ladies up near the Tiger Rock in the fairway with an opportunity to make birdie on the final hole. On the final day, I'm expecting that they're going to put the pin in the middle or right-hand side to increase the chances for birdie. So I think a leader that has a one-shot lead is going to feel like they need to make birdie here if they want to protect their lead. This is going to be a great finishing hole. It certainly is a fantastic finishing hole, this 18th. There's water down the right-hand side. Not a problem for these women, Pat. They've got the distance. Definitely. Down the right-hand side is a good line in because uh, where the hole is located today, it's on the left-hand side of the green, only eight paces from the left. It's a huge green. Anything short will be gobbled up by those grassy knolls. No bunker mm -hmm. as a defence, but uh, they certainly aren't inviting but these players will just dial in their distance and nestle it in next to the pin on that back left hand corner great finishing hole and there's a lot at stake and a fantastic drive there you have it from Ye Won well that was big she got birdie yesterday on this hole she made it again well, a birdie would be very handy. Very. Eight under par. All eyes are on Lee Ye Won. Wow. What wow. a shot. Stunning. Stunning. What a time to strike. The right time. Oh, on Lee. Cue. Putting her foot down <laughs> just when she needs to. That sends a jolt to the rest of the field. Lee Back in, in brilliant form. Mm -hmm. Back to the 16. Choi. Round the corner. No problems there. This hole sweeps around to the left off the tee. Well, Junmin was resilient. Was, uh, digging away, uh, putting together a good final round, but unfortunately a double bogey at the previous hole, the 15th, has halted her charge up the leaderboard. Oh, nearly kicked it. Good drive. And what could we say about Shinsil? <sighs> I mean... 
It's a disappointed three hole. Two bogeys, one double. Yeah, in a blink of an eye. Uh, was so good. It was an imperious form throughout this final round, but bogey, bogey, double. The last three holes for the 20-year-old. And you could just see how exasperated and frustrated she is. Mm -hmm. It's hard to win 30 events a year. And when the depth of talent runs so deep in Korea, you need to take your chances. Back on the 18th. Now Park, Minji up the slope. Caught an eagle yesterday on this hole. Yeah, it was an amazing round. Scribbled her name next to a 65, courtesy of a two at 18. This is for a three. Five under par. Oh, and oh. it's a very, very good try. That's going to be a tap in there. A 72 for Park Minji. Five under, a highly respectable performance over three days. It's not going to be her championship. But one of the stars, certainly from the KL PGA Tour, an 18-time winner and a three-time major champion. Well, Kim has certainly been deliberate when it comes to putting today. And she definitely loves the 18. She got 30s on the first and second round. This is another chance. Great looking putt. Right on line. And in it goes. That's a lovely way to finish. And that's an excellent putt for Kim Minju. Five from the par, tied on the sixth place. But here's Lee to tie it up the 18th and be the lone lead at nine under par. Got a very high chance here. What well, terrific shot in from Ye Won. Big opportunity now. A three-time winner last year on tour. The most dominant player in the women's game in Korea and showing her class here in Phuket. This to be the clubhouse leader on nine under par. Excellent. And she gets it. Excellent. What a birdie. She knew it. On the 54th hole, a round of 68 to add to her opening round of a 68 plus the 71 on Saturday. Could that be good enough to get the job done? I would say maybe. I mean, two leads, two shot leads. Wow. And indeed, a two shot lead now over the challengers, those left out on the golf course. Can they find some magic down this closing stretch of holes to peck away at the lead and reduce the deficit? Two shots now. Well, the goal had been set. Yeah, the pace, nine under is the mark. And here's Choi. On the 16. 92 yards left. You can be anywhere, but short that's perfect Brilliant. that's perfect fantastic shot in for Choi remember one of the few players to record a two at the 14th Certainly worth another look at this swing. Beautiful tempo. Stayed with the ball beautifully. And she liked what she saw. Dancing next to the hole. 
It's a short birdie putt to come for Ming Kyung. That to get within one. Well, Hong needs birdie, birdie, birdie finish. If she's going to keep up with the clubhouse leader, Ye Won. Well, you're going to do what you're going to do, and you're going to do it now or never. <laughs> Three hole left. Just 89 yards off that flag stick. Wow. <laughs> well, they're finding form. But are they finding form too late? Are there enough holes left for Hong? Needs that birdie, but needs two more if she's going to keep up with Lee Ye Won, who's in the clubhouse, nine under par. Well, that's a big bang from Bang. <laughs> Most probably a wow. fair bit of venom in that tee shot. Wow. But that was huge. Just tossing this ball up. Well, that's a good spin. I mean, you've definitely got advantages when you are a long drive. Mm -hmm. But obviously not for that three holes for Bang. Well, even if Shinsu were to birdie 16 and 17 and 18, well, she would come up shy of the lead. Nine under in the clubhouse, coming back in 33 shots. Ye Won Lee, what a round it was for the dominant player. Korea's number one golfer last year and uh, illustrating to us exactly why. Just playing professional in 2021. Mm. So this is just her third years yeah, in amazing. her career. Amazing, right? Well, it's amazing when you think about it, Pat, as we look at the uh, putt now, the birdie putt to come from Bang, just how good these players are at a very young age. Mm -hmm. Bang is only 20 years old, already won twice. It's to get to six under par. Good stroke here. But they all grow up on the driving ranges at first. Golf is expensive to play in South Korea. So the first two years on the range, honing their technique, hitting hundreds upon hundreds of golf balls. Well, that's answering why all the Koreans are, you know, very stable on their swing and their ball flight and everything. Spending their times in driving range. Hours and hours. Good opportunity for Hong. Come on, Junming. After what has been a frustrating, disappointing back nine, double bogey and a bogey on 10. To move to seven. The only chance to get close to Yu Wan Lee. Oh. I thought it's going to win in. Well, still remain at six under par for Hong. Two holes to play. But this, well, you love birdie parts of this distance. Big opportunity now for Choi, has to take this. It's a must putt, I would say. This to be one shot off the lead. Two holes to play. Well, good putt here. And Choi still in the dance floor. Well, this is all getting rather exciting now. Min Kyung marches to the 17th hole. Needs a birdie to draw level alongside Ye Won Lee. There's two holes remaining. If she birdies both, the championship is hers. But we know just how challenging the par three is to come. <laughs> so it's still very much up in the air. Lee Ye Won will be waiting patiently, maybe nervously in the clubhouse to see what our challenges will do down the stretch. It's been a wonderful first outing for the KLPGA here in Phuket.
what this is earlier. On the par three. And that was Huang Yu Min. That was recorded earlier, one of the best tee shots we've seen at the 17th. And in fact, you could see it was for a drop, a penalty. Mm -hmm. Leaked it right into the water. So once again, the 17th hole claiming a few victims. Yeah, definitely. Especially with this whole location, top right back. So definitely lose one stroke here, Yu Min Wong. Perfect putt. I mean, yeah. one drop shot is good. Mm. Three birdies on the scorecard on that back nine. Mm -hmm. But a frustrating day for Huang. Out of 38, dropped a shot at the 10th. And there's another one there that fell at 17. So battling out there on the canyon course. Back on the tee. Choi. It's a seven iron for Choi. Is the seven iron long enough? It oh. is long enough. It certainly is. It needs to settle down. It's a great place to be on the 17. She's definitely on a dance floor. I would say only one player on the dance floor right now. Choi. And Choi is looking for her first win on tour. Been on tour for a number of years. Only a couple of years on tour for this player, for Shin Sil. <laughs> yep. Sadly, it's not going to be her day today. Had her chances, had the lead all by herself on nine under. Won't need much club here for the longest player on tour. Oh, that's a little too shy. That bunker just caught her. Golf is hard sometimes. It certainly is, and uh, deeply frustrating. But there's an awful lot at stake. And there's a lot of prize money, that's for sure. 650,000 US dollars total prize money, with the winner walking away with 117,000. That's around 4 million Thai yeah. baht. <laughs> sounds like <laughs> an sounds awful lot. a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. It is indeed. <laughs> All right, Hong. Six irons. Wow, will that stop? Oh, you're good. Only two holes remaining. And we still do not know who the champion <laughs> is. Will nine and under be enough mm -hmm. for Depends the on Choi. <laughs> Depends on Choi. <laughs> I mean, she knew it because on hole number 17, there's a big leaderboard at the tee off. So she knows she's just one stroke back. It's interesting though, Pat, because sometimes players don't like to look at the leaderboard. They don't want to know what they've got to do. But <laughs> for me, I liked case, it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like to chase. <laughs> But certainly, if the player doesn't know, then mm -hmm. the caddy knows exactly what's at stake. They mm -hmm. know what they've got to do. <laughs> but it's very close. Very close. And Ming Kyung has a birdie putt at the 17th hole. Unfortunately, the woes for Shinsil continue. Oh, and Bang didn't hit into the bunker, but 
nearly in that red penalty area. Mm -hmm. That is way short. Oh, the clubhouse can't come soon enough for Shinsil. Well, it's pretty good. Well, that's fighting once again for a part the last couple of days. Certainly made the golf course looked a lot easier. I was able to find those birdies. But although there won't be success today for Bang, she will take a huge amount of experience. You do learn a lot from the failures in life. And at uh, 20 years old, her golfing journey really is just beginning. From the back of the green. This for Birdie now, for Hong. And while that hasn't gone in, that will have helped Choi, because Min Kyung will have a good look at that part, and a similar situation to where she is. Well, while they putt, we will jump ahead now to the 18th hole and join Yu Min, here she is, Drive down the right-hand side, that is ideal. No problems. And Yu Ming seems perfectly happy with that. Back to the important part here on the 17. Oh, Choi. It certainly is, because this now is to join Ye Won Lee in a share of the lead. It's a great looking part. Is it going to oh, be? It just right oh, on line it needed just a couple <sighs> more rolls and so now the equation is really straightforward a birdie required for this player Choi Min Kyung at the last to force a playoff against Lee Ye Won Well, I think when we were having a chat this morning, we were in the media center chatting to some of the Korean journalists. Mm -hmm. A lot of people thought that the day would be uh, going in the favor of Shin Sil. Bang, the 20-year-old, uh, with that distance off the tee, with her ability to shoot a low score. Yeah, you know, even for Thai commentators mm -hmm. too, uh, we yeah. and the others, yeah. we would say bang. <laughs> I mean, with her distance, of course. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like she's going to go out with a bang because this now for par. Her hopes evaporated on the back nine. Bogey, bogey, double. Had to stay at six under. And sadly, and frustratingly, it's another bogey for Shinsil. Slipping quickly down that leaderboard. Well, let's join one of the final groups out on the golf course. This is the group of Ko, Huang, and Kim. And it is Huang Yuming, who just has 82 yards. This to the 18th. Just drop a shot on the previous hole.
that is pin high. Par safe. Tidying up at 17 for Junming. A three it is, and Hong remains at six under par. Back on the 18th green, Hiji Kemides putting down that slope on the 18th. Well, Hiji's had her chances throughout the course of this week, had the lead after an opening round of 66, had the lead all by herself. It was a 72 yesterday for Hiji, but has a little bit of magic and uh, hopefully can walk away with a three on 18 to move to five under. Still looking for her first win on tour. But that was close. Unable to get the point here. Mm. That 66 on the opening day was her equal lowest round in a KLPGA event. So you've got to take the positives, haven't you? Yep. Oh, it's a game that can beat you up. It you're can gonna spit be, you out, that's for sure, golf. You're going to be optimism <laughs> throughout the days, throughout your golfing career and life. <laughs> well, in the orange top, there is Huang Yumin. Great player. Huang also with this putt for a birdie. Was once third in the world amateur sta uh, standings. Also, second in driving distance on the KLPGA, so one of the longer players, had a win that was uh, in 2023. She also was second the week later. That was at the Dalwina NBN Ladies Open last July. What a profile, only 20 years of age. Yeah, one of the youngsters alongside Kim Min Biel and Shin Sil. Good looking putt. Oh. Too much pace on that and, uh, a par part to come. Five under for Huang. And that currently finds her in a tie for fifth. And here's in the green, Chi Yu Ko. Well, Ko has had a horrible day today. No it, birdies. No, and unfortunately, there was a double bogey on six, and a 16. double bogey as well on 16. No mm -hmm. red numbers. Mm -hmm. She'll be looking forward to getting to the clubhouse mm -hmm. because uh, a par at 18 will be for a round of 78. Wow. So this to make it a little bit better. This now for a birdie. Tough day. So Jiuko finish at the even par. Not a very good days for her. Oh, frustrated. Just outside the top 20 for Ko. But they will return next week, the Koreans, to the third event on tour for them. That is to come. Won't be as warm as it is here in Phuket. <laughs> Here's Choi on the tee. Trailing by one. Has to find a birdie to force a playoff against Lee Ye Won. She loves this hole. Got a birdie on round one and two. Well, it bodes well for her. But today is the day that she's going to make it again. To go for a playoff. Picking up that tease will be fine.
Well, part one of the equation done. It's an inviting hole location. There are chances. There have been a few threes so far. Lee Jung Min. Obviously, Lee Ye Won making that crucial three on 18 to move to nine under. And now the 22-year-old, the 54th hole, the final hole today. Certainly had her chances this week. Already a winner on tour. Look, oh, that drive. That was a big drive from Junmin. Wow. Well, that's going to be a good line in as well. Well, certainly Bang will leave nothing behind on 18. Has nothing to lose. It's been a horrible back nine for the 20-year-old. Longest player, but deciding not to go with driver. Playing full position. Let live. Just would love to get into the clubhouse right now. All Lee Ye Wong can do <laughs> is wait and watch patiently <laughs> and watch. It is beyond her control. Well, it's all too watch. much. <laughs> oh, can't bear it. The leader in the clubhouse, uh, nine under par. Will nine under par be good yeah, enough? Or will we witness a playoff? Well, Pat, there's been many shots of the day it and is. certainly of the tournament, but how about this one on the 11th? Of course, gonna come from her. You won, Lee. Why not, right? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Nearly got an eagle on this one. Easy tapped in birdie. You can't hit straighter than that, can't you? And here's Choi on the 16. That birdie just kept her in the dance floor. An easy and crucial birdie for Choi. That was to move within one. It was a good three on 17. And now after a solid drive from Choi, who's enjoying her 13th year on tour. So an experienced player. So Choi yet to play. It will now be Shinsil's turn. 115 yards to the pin on 18. Pin high, good chance of a three. But Bang must be absolutely boiling inside. Not just the heat from outside, but her frustrations as well has let this championship slip out of her hands. Big shot right now for Choi Min Kyung. Needs a birdie. And that's not going to be an easy birdie putt from there. There is a lot of work. There is a long way to go. Well, there is the clubhouse leader. There is Lee Ye Won. Is she just driving around in circles, trying to do something, take her mind off what is happening on the golf course? There is nothing else she can do. Posted three excellent scores to lead the championship on nine under par. Will that be enough? Big drive from Hong. Jiming looking to get close. Come on. Well, slow down off the rough, no spin. That's a downhill putt. Well, Choi Min Kyung, no wins yet for Choi. 
two wins on the Dream Tour. But now, the leader in the clubhouse, here she is on the left-hand side, <laughs> one of the most dominant players in the women's game. She's also number 35 in the Rolex World Rankings mm -hmm. for Ye Wan Lee. And you feel that she's going to break into the top 30 with a victory here. It's not hers yet. All she can do is wait. Depends on Choi. If Choi makes birdie, then we have a playoff. If not, then the championship is hers. Well, a few fans have decided to come out and enjoy the action on Sunday afternoon. We are in Phuket in Thailand, the first time the Korean LPGA has come to Thailand. And it's also celebrating the 66th anniversary of <laughs> diplomatic ties between the two countries. But Hong now, all she'll be thinking about is how can I make a three? How can I move to seven under? Get a little bit more money there. <laughs> well, most certainly. That would be, this would be third place all by herself. Looking good. Settle in the hole. Oof. Oh, it had a chance. A little bit too hard. A few members have come out this afternoon. It's a wonderful place to watch the action from that clubhouse overlooking the 18th green. You can also see the 9th as well, playing back up towards that imposing clubhouse. It's been here since 1991. A big moment now for Choi. She's won twice on the Dream Tour. Mm -hmm. 30 years old, and this is her 13th year on the KLPGA. Could this be her day? Has to make this to force a playoff with Lee Ye Won. Gonna bring all the experience up to 13 years. just not turned and well oh pat <laughs> it was a great chance it was a good opportunity yeah. but unfortunately had to hit it closer with the approach and what we have now is our inaugural champion and many many congratulations indeed to lee ye won what a player she is 21 years old and also congratulations to Choi min kyung Finishing on eight under par, had her chances, she fought hard. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there, the celebratory water? They say, please, please wait, I know I'm hot, but let's uh, finish. Wait for the group. Yeah, let's uh, complete plate. And your heart goes out to this player, to Bang Shin Sil. Had her chances, had the lead. And had it all to herself as well, on nine under that it has been a torrid back nine for the 20-year-old. And that sums up her day. Just mm -hmm. could not find a birdie on the back nine. Unfortunately, found three bogeys and a double. Just not her day. All right. Five and the pie it is for Bang. Tied on the fifth place is in a tie for fifth. But this now is an important part for Hong Jun Min. This is for a par. And to finish on six under. To stay at third place. That's quite a distance, isn't it? Frustration wow. for Hong. Drop some money there. Unfortunately, it was a back nine that Hong would rather forget. Five under, also in that tie for fifth place. But congratulations indeed to the 21-year-old Lee Ye Won, making it four wins on the KLPGA.
three-time champion last year and One continues her winning way in 2024. Bright future ahead. There you go. Have a look. 2024 winner on the KLPGA, the second event of the season on tour. Kim Jae-hee claimed the opening event at the HANA Financial Group Singapore Women's Open. And it'll be this player, Lee Ye Won, who continues to impress the golfing world. 35th of the Rolex World Rankings, looking to break into that top 30. And certainly making a statement early. Such brilliant play over the course of the three rounds. 68-71 and a 68, finishing with a birdie on the final hole to come back in 33 strokes. And Pat, when you look at the final round for Ye Won, two birdies on the front nine and four birdies on the back nine. She put the foot down. Yep, she's just fire up herself in the back nine, which mostly the rest of the player didn't do it. <laughs> that water's got to feel quite nice right now. <laughs> it's it not some. champagne, <laughs> uh, but just uh, water. Help with the humidity. So jubilant scenes here on the 18th uh, at Blue Canyon. <laughs> we have a winner. It was a congested leaderboard. Oh, it was, you did wonder who was going to be victorious, but the EA one chiseled her way up the leaderboard with those birdies, crucial birdies on 15, two good pars on 16 and 17, and then finishing in style with a superb three. Hitting the wedge in closer, tap in birdie three for a round of 68 and to win by one. Surprisingly, I mean, she didn't start in the final group, but a third pairing before the final group. But here you go. Nine under par, Yuan Li, the champion of the Blue Canyon Ladies Championship. First time in Thailand's history that the KLPJ events have been visiting us in the Thai region and a seven shot swing if you look at the scores for Ye Won and also Shin Sil. Well, Ye Won was four under, Shin Sil three over par. Big swing. Well, it's a funny old game, golf. It can do funny things to you, but we all come back for more. And these players will certainly head back to Thailand for the third event and to, they will leave Thailand and indeed head back to Korea because it will be Li Ye Won, who will be defending her title at the Doosan ENC Weave Championship. And that is to come in the next couple of weeks for the third event. And you just feel that uh, Ye Won is going to be defending an awful lot of titles in her young career. Just 20 years old, a winner, already a winner of four events. Has the all-round game. It's just so impressive. And it'll be interesting to see as well, Pat, this year, if she can continue that dominant style of play where she does lift the money list title once more. Definitely. Well, you wouldn't put it against her, would you? She was also a runner-up four times last season. Incredible. And enjoy the lowest scoring average on tour, 70.70. Her driving accuracy is so good, just shy of 80%. Also third in strokes gained off the team. And then other players and how they fared. And the leading Thai player. Panarai Misomat, of course, the best Thai so far, finishing at 17th place with three on the par. I mean, she played well in the second round, but then games get a little pick up, I would say. So all in all, 61 players from Korea and 11 golfers from Thailand, renowned professionals. We have players like P.K. Konkrapan, Paul Nong Pat Lam. <laughs> and Good. of course, Apuja Yubonoso. Mm. She's gonna head back to the US for the LPGA events this year, second season. Good scoring. It has been for many of these players seeing the course for the very first time the inaugural championship and we do very much hope we're going to be back next year to contest this once more of course mm -hmm. 
with us, Patrick Zutha Krungapan, another Thai players who have been playing in the LPGA Tour before back then and then decided to move back to Thailand and played in Asia. And for the last two years, she won 13 events in Asia. That's some going, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, how about that? Well, there were good days there for Lee Gae Yong, but frustrating days as well for Jang Soo Yeon. Five over, a 77 she limped home with to finish over par for the championship. And then Pornanon, 76 today for Pornanon. Not a very good round for her, definitely, but her brother that was on her back for the first round actually got some injured. And what yeah, happened? Um, he's kind of slipped out of the side of the bunker, so right. he hurt a little bit of his leg. So was he unable today? to carry the bat oh. since yesterday? Well, they've been a dynamic duo for so long. <laughs> well, yeah, that might be an effect. Oh. <laughs> Let's watch some highlights today. What's going on? What's happened? Yeah, on the 10th yeah. Well, the story of the day, it was all looking so good, wasn't it, for Bang Shin Sil? But this player has Yewon. marched up the leaderboard throughout the course of the championship. Lee Ye Won rolling in a lovely birdie part. That was at the 10th hole to move to seven under par. And on the 11th, another great shot here. I mean, you're going to watch this over and over again on this par five. Hit the flag stick. Can't be straighter than that. Nearly got an eagle. Just the start that Lee was after on the back nine. And then it continued as well. A couple of pars on 12 and 13, but then this on 14 for Ye Won. Slightly left. The breeze is coming off the player's left, but not affecting that tee shot. So it was indeed a drop shot for Ye Won. That gave the chasing pack some hope. But then bounce back great scrambling that at the 15th hole an excellent birdie got him back to eight under par and of course on the 18th i mean that's when she closed the stage finishing with the birdie and this birdie just got her the trophy slamming the door shut on her nearest challenges a round of 68 to finish on nine under for the three-day championship a nine under good enough to walk away with the trophy. Yi Wan Li. What a good week all the players have had. Staying at the Meridian in Phuket, the hotel down on the beach, great hotel. Coming here each day to contest. No cut this week, all players were safely through to Sunday's play. And a prize fund of $650,000. And so Yi Wan will walk away with a Check for 117,000 US. That's 4 million Thai baht. It is. It's a, <laughs> lot, it's a lot of money. And uh, what a year it promises to be for Ye Won. You wonder if she's going to stay on the KLPGA Tour. Will she look to play LPGA Golf? What is the dream for the 21-year-old? Because she's certainly dreaming right now. So we're now going to go and join the official prize giving with Wambi Sajamat, the tournament director. And what a brilliant job he has performed throughout the course of this week. Congratulations to yep. him. ไม่ได้ทําอะไรเลยครับตรงนี้ไม่จับปกติครับ 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8 
วัสดีครับ We are here with the winner. This is the winner of the inaugural uh, Blue Canyon Ladies Championship, Lee A. Wan. She played very well. She is the Order of Merit leader in 2023. And today, she finished the tournament here at Blue Canyon with a 9 under par. How do you feel right now, Lee A. Wan? Uh, um, well, she's very happy now uh, that she couldn't win the prior event, but she did play very well today. Uh, how did you find Blue Canyon uh, to be how difficult, how challenging was the golf course this week? Okay, well, the champ said the fairway is quite narrow, so she really needed to keep the ball in play in order to score well. Uh, were you happy with the, obviously you won the event, but are you happy with your performance this week? Okay, so uh, obviously looking at her, I, I agree she, you know, she could have scored better. She is happy that she's won, but she thought she could have scored even better. Now, uh, how many times have you been to Thailand? Is this the first trip to Thailand? Her second time in Thailand. How have you found your first KLPGA event in Thailand to be? She's Okay, so she's very thrilled to be here in Thailand and KLPG is having more events outside of Korea, especially in the beginning of the year. We are very happy to have you here in Thailand. Obviously, you are now defending champion. We hope you come back and compete again next year as well. Okay, well, I think we should probably take a look at some of the highlights and then we'll proceed on to the award ceremony. a lengthy birdie part required. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she's trying her best though. Well, other notable contenders, also Jay Yong Lee, and it was a round of 68 for Jay Yong, who came fizzing back. That back nine, there were birdies on 10, 11, and 12, and a lovely two at 17. <laughs> Not many twos to be had on 17, but for Lee, a round of 68. But this, the winning part, from our champion. To conclude the day. Mm. A four-foot birdie part to move to nine under.
and Lee Ye Won, 21 years old, continuing her winning ways after three victories in 2023, has already notched a title early on in the season this year in 2024. Her dominance continues on the KLPGA Tour. What a player with an all-round game, a steely determination, and a determination to win. Quite brilliant, a name to watch out for in the future. Oh, <laughs> the water had to come at some point. That Certainly cold. I, well, <laughs> absolutely fine in Phuket, but wow. When she's defending her title next week, uh, we know the weather's not anywhere near as warm back in Korea, and uh, she's gonna be back next week. And that's at the Doosan E and C Weave Championship. Ooh, won't be hoping for uh, cold water then, <laughs> should she successfully defend. But you wouldn't put it past her because all facets of her game have been impressive. Also, it has a very calm demeanor on the golf course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, she even do the Swati in Thai. That's how nice she is. And selfies with the fan club. <laughs> now you wonder because a lot of the players in Korea have their own fan clubs mm -hmm. and they have their own names for their fan club like uh, Choi Her Jin is a uh, uh, final round queen. Uh, Ji Ye Shin, she has her own fan club as well. And uh, then you've got, uh, oh gosh, Sun Hyung Park, whose fan club is called Shut Up and Attack. <laughs> they, <laughs> they are one of the biggest fan clubs out there. Mm, I love Lam the Dalla. name. Brilliant. I just love the name. And you've got the cutiful. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Most popular one But it's, KLJ. I mean, for some of them, they are obsessed with women's golf and they will travel around the world following just these to players. See. Yeah. 27 players in the top 100 in the world are from Korea. How about that? 18 are from Japan in the top 100. And to put it into perspective, only 16 of the top 100 players in the world are from the United States. Well, a wonderful week it has been with the very best from the Korean tour and the best from Thailand. And it has resulted in the championship going in the way of the 21-year-old from South Korea, Lee Ye Won, reaching the mark of nine under par. Congratulations to her. Let's join the official prize presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome all of you to the prize presentation ceremony. Obviously, this is the inaugural event for Blue Canyon Ladies Championship. Top 60 of KLPGA players have traveled here to participate in this tournament over three days of 54 holes, no cut championship. We have invited 12 invitees to participate in this event and we're very happy with your participation and your travel all this way to compete here in Thailand. I would like to first acknowledge a few of the VIP that are present today. Would you please acknowledge the governor of Phuket, Kun So Pon Suwanarat. Also here with us, the chairman of Blue Canyon Country Club, Kun Prapan Atsawa Ari. Also with us today, the vice president of KLPGA, Ms. Kim Sunmi. And now proceeding on to the prize presentation. Before we move on to the winner, we do have a special prize this week for the lowest round of the tournament. And that happened on day two. At 65, which was seven under par, would you please give a round of applause to Park Min Ji. <laughs> KL Media Tour course record presenting the prize of one year Blue Canyon membership is Kun Prapan Asawa Ari, Chairman of Blue Canyon Country Club. Rangwan Ku member T Sanam Blue Canyon Nung P Kap Hai Kap Konti Tam Kanan D Tisut Nakap Jet and the Pa Hoksima Kap. Congratulations.
คนซีประมือจีนครับคนที่ทำคะแนนดีที่สุดสัปดาห์นี้นะครับในการแข่งขัน plus 65 lowest score of the week and now it's time to present the prize to the winner she was the order of merit 2023 leader which is a number one player in KLPGA and this week she played her best nine under par. Would you please welcome Yi Ye Wan. Vice President of KOPJ presenting the winner jacket and a bouquet of flower. I would like to invite Kun Prapanna Sawaari to present the check to our winner this week. Value at 117,000 US dollars. Kun Prapanna Mop. เช็คให้กับผู้ชนะในสัปดาห์นี้ด้วยครับและ now for the trophy ขอเรียนเชิญผู้ราชการจังหวัดภูเก็ตคุณโสพลสวนรัตน์มอบถ้วยให้กับชมครับ Ladies and gentlemen, the governor of Phuket presenting the trophy to our winner Yi Ye Wan. Invite EA wants to take the trophy and just lift it. Sixty-eight, seventy-one, sixty-eight. Total score of nine under par. EA one. In addition to the VIP who are already present, I would like to invite Kun Prasad Akarapong Pisak, Pratan Kamagam Barisat, NSC Metal Jamkat, and Ti Puksa Abuso Blue Canyon Country Club. Club, would you please welcome the chairman of NSC Kun Prasad Akarapong Pisak, and also the chief financial officer of Bertram 1958, Kun Titima Iam Pikun Club. Also, please welcome Kun Thawat Muong Pin, Pujakan Event Park Bad, Barisat Chang International Jamkat Cup. One more VIP joining us is Mr. Thawat Muong Pin, Event Manager RA, Chang International Company Limited. Another warm hand of applaud for our champion this year for Blue Canyon Ladies Championship, Ye Wan. 
I would like to invite one more photo, please. Could you, Park Min Ji, can you join uh, in the photo, please? Thank you very much. You did score the best this week. We would like another photo with Park Min Ji in this last picture here. We enjoyed having all of you here, all of you ladies of the KLPGA playing this week in Blue Canyon Canyon Course. We have certainly signed the uh, rights to host two more years into the future. So for those of you back home watching this on TV, we hope to, for you to come here and join us at Blue Canyon perhaps next year to watch for yourself the magnificent, challenging layout of the Canyon. Wow, I mean, Kate, it's the moment. It's the moment. Uh, lovely scenes there on the 18th hole, and well done to Jay, who has worked tirelessly to deliver a first-class event. And the good news is, this is not going to be the first and the only year that the KLPJ will visit in Thailand, mm. but will be the next two years or so. Yeah, At one opportunity to get out from the cold of Korea <laughs> and to the sauna of Phuket. Well, there are many highlights throughout the course of this final round. And why don't we take you through some of those? This was Park Min Ji this, at the ninth hole, rolling that one in beautifully, 18-time winner. And that moved her to eight under. And at that point, she was very much in contention. And so Bang was Shin Bang Shin Sil. This is on the ninth. Well, her future is still bright ahead for the victory this week before everything turns around in her back nine. Mm. Yeah. And here's the tenth. Short before, of course, Yi Won Lee. Finding form on the back nine. Looking to make a statement, send a message to the rest of the field that she wasn't going anywhere. And so that was a great start. And then also this from Hong Junming. That was not what she was hoping for. And that was a drop shot to the crucial stage. So her hopes were disappearing. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, on Li Weiyuan's hopes were getting better and better. Shot of the day right here. <laughs> Nearly got an eagle off this one. 11th par 5. Again, on the 12. That will be back to back um, birdie. 13. Lovely par four, the signature, one of the signature holes. There's, there's a couple, aren't there? There's the uh, 14th, of course, the par three, but this known as the Tiger Woods hole, a hole that he, drive, he drove back in the Johnny Walker Classic. And then uh, Minji Park there, walking away with an excellent three. Mm -hmm. Stay relevant. But then this tee shot, this on 14, into the penalty area, into the water. And then this tee shot as well from Ye Won. You can see her having a good look at this and for good reason as well, tugging that left, hoping the breeze would bring it round. So both of them took bogeys and they recorded bogeys. Meanwhile, their playing partner, Choi, was making a two. Mm -hmm. That's a two-stroke swing on 14. I would say that's the only mistake from Yu Won Lee in her back nine on the 14. And here's on the 15, getting her point straight back. Great bounce back there. Eight under par. There are a couple more pars to follow for Ye Won. Of course, on the 16 here, Shoy. Got a very good approach here and finishing off this hole for a birdie. Get herself into the dance floor. Eight under par. One shot off the pace. Choi Min Kyung was at that stage. And on the 18th, this is the championship putt from Li Yi Won. So that posted the clubhouse target of nine under par. And Choi Min Kyung needed this putt on the 18th to force a playoff. Unfortunately, it was a four for Choi. And so Choi is still looking for her first win. Meanwhile, Ye Won is enjoying her fourth win. Three wins last year, including a major and then a win already this season in the third outing for the KLPGA. Just at 21 years of age, three years in her career, Yuan Li, bright future ahead. Yes, and that 
How about this? How about these views? Now, Pat, you're, going to want to go, you're most probably definitely want to come back here. You're fortunate enough to be tired, to be spoiled by... <laughs> you know what? I love to live in Phuket. Oh, I don't <laughs> blame you. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, big island with a population of 2 million people doing 13 beaches. And how many golf courses have we got? Nine. Nine, okay. You can live here with the international airport. I mean, <laughs> transportation is... Everything is good. Food people yeah it's a highly desirable golfing and holiday destination and it attracted 61 players from the klpga there they were earlier this week and play finishing just about half an hour ago with lee ye won lifting the trophy for the fourth time in her young career and the good news is for the ties we're going to see them again next year for sure here at phuket for at least two years this championship will return at the famed venue at blue canyon at the canyon course. And it closed for nearly a year. Yep, 10 months for the renovation. All about the drainage and, you know, about the contour on the greens. And it just reopened in February 2024. So the contours change a lot in the canyon course. So I would say the local caddy wouldn't know the course that well anymore about the line speeding. Well, there's so many striking holes on this layout. Certainly 13 and 14, the short dog leg right, the par 4, 13. It was drivable a few years ago. The trees have got too tall now for that to happen. <laughs> and then the signature par 3 down the hill, the 14th hole. That's 50 meters down that yes. elevation. You get hang time <laughs> off that tee shot. Now, it's a good hole for, you know, taking photos. <laughs> Scenic wheel. So where will Korean golf go? What will we see in the future? Will we, we were, a couple of years ago, seeing 40 players in the top 100. It's 27 now. And is that because, do you think, Pat, of the rise of other Asian countries? Certainly, Japan has 18 players in the top 100. Mm -hmm. That's a record from Japan. And Thailand has 11. So what is Thailand doing? Why are more players taking up the game? And why are they so good? I mean, the numbers are growing. I mean, the golf industry, not just in Thailand, but around Asia, just like you mentioned, Kate, is growing a lot. Well, basically, Thailand, what I know is, is one thing that the tournaments were increasing a lot. We're having the Trust Golf Tour, we're having the Singer Tour. All the tours are increasing the prize money. So that is good for the golfers. And especially when you have Moria, Area, Pondanam Patlam, Seri Park from Korea. I mean, they were big inspiration, and here's Yen Wan Lee. I'm sure she will be the next generation for, you know, for the players in the Koreans, for the inspiration. And that's what the sport is all about, isn't it? If you can provide that inspiration, and that's what Ye Wan Lee has done. And who was her inspiration? Was it MB Park? Was it Seri Pak? Seri Pak paved a way for all of these players mm -hmm. when she won the US Open back in the late 90s. That inspired players like So Yon Yu, MB Park, and then this, the next wave of talent to emerge from Korea. Another thing I would like to thank to the technology nowadays, it changed a lot in golf or even in other sports as well, Kate. I am liking the winner's jacket that she gets <laughs> as well. Bow. Not just the trophy and also the check for 117,000 US dollars. <laughs> I prefer the check. <laughs> you can take the jacket, Kate. <laughs> I'll take the check. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the check, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's a great moment for you, Wanli, here. <laughs> and for us. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely. Well, it's a beautiful golf course. And hopefully, if you have had a chance to watch over the last three days, you'll be tempted to come and play here yourself. Highlights, there were plenty today. Why don't we take them take you through them one more time and if you haven't seen the birdie putt from Ye Won on 10 here it is for you a beautiful birdie to really make a charge up the leaderboard at that point she was two shots adrift and it all started to change quite rapidly mm -hmm. and on the 11th of course nearly got in that one at third shot on the par five that flat stick got too hard isn't it <laughs> 14. Kicking birdie, and that's just what Le Ye Won was after. But uh, after a couple mistakes. of pars, this was a miscue from the leader. 
tugging it left, hoping the breeze will bring it back. So the A1 made a bogey at the 14th hole. But Luck. great bounce back on 15, Pat. Exactly. Luckily, she brings everything back straight at the 15. And on the 18th, of course, championship putt. This birdie putt is huge. Mm -hmm. Now you can see how fired up she was at that point. Fist pump with her caddy and also a fist pump to signal. Did she know that was going to be good enough? I think maybe she did. Nine under. That was the clubhouse target. And that, in the end, was good enough to get across the line and for Lee Ye Won to lift her fourth trophy of her young career. Well, it's been a pleasure to be here over the past three days. And Pat, what a pleasure to work alongside you. Me too. Here covering Me the too. best from Korea and also Thailand. And when we think about some of the memories over these past three days, what have you particularly enjoyed? What stood out for you? Well, I say about the course, definitely Phuket. And of course, all the players, the KLBJ players and Thailand as well. And you, Kate, my uh -huh. honor. Well, a pleasure to work with you, Pat. And farewell from Blue Canyon Country Club. And we do hope you can join us for next year's Blue Canyon Ladies Championship.